Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Welcome to Twinkle Tips Friday. Yeah, it's a little late, but I think you're gonna like this lesson because it actually came from Christmas Expo. That's right, we just got back from Christmas Expo. We we had the uh, booth over there at the, uh, at the vendor hall and we were there with a number of our other PPD affiliates. We had uh, Miner Mendoza, who is from your Pixel store. We had Wizard of Wire there, we had um, uh, our friends over at Matos Designs. We also had uh, Experience Lights was there. And we hosted a number of different affiliate savings programs that you guys got to hook up on with some amazing deals that we absolutely never get a chance to offer to club members. So there are more coming. And a huge thank you to all of the vendors, affiliates who uh, donated a prize to do a raffle drawing. There's still more prizes to come because we're gonna do something special at the end of this month and everybody's welcome to join us for it. So with that being said, today's lesson is on singing coro faces. And the reason this came up is because we were at Expo and somebody came up to the booth and started ask some, asking some really good questions and I thought, Man, this is a great example that I could show along with some other videos that we do. Uh, a couple of the different options that are built into X-Lights that maybe you didn't know about or have never messed around with. So let's go ahead and get started with the lesson today. Well, we are all set. What I want to do today is I want to play with this uh, bulb. This is the uh, the light bulb from Boscoya, the chroma bulb. Uh, I started with this little guy years ago, and he's a lot of fun. Well, I, I went in and I downloaded him. If it looks a little different than what it is when you actually download it, forgive me because I am setting up for the video here. First thing I want to do is show you how to go into the faces definition. If we go into the faces, we click the faces and we open up the dialog, we see this, what looks like a custom model dialog box. So one of the first things that I noticed about the face is, is that the bulb has a face outline that is, here's your bulb and then here's your base. So uh, that it's all in one color. You can, you can set that to be one color if you want. The faces are pretty much set up to where they're my liking. The things that stood out to me, like the eyes, and uh, the eyes open have all the light bulbs selected and then the eyes closed are just the line there. But what I wanna do is I wanna customize this a little bit and make it a little easier to program. So what do I mean by whenever I say that? So if I go into the sequence tab here and I select the faces effect and I put the faces effect down. So you have the phoneme, uh, I'm just gonna leave this as AI. He's got the big AI mouth. And right now, the color white is selected. So every pixel on his face in the AI mouth movement is going to be uh, all white. If we add a second color, red, let's say, now now the second color, the, the first color is his mouth. The second color is everything else. If we add a third color, you'll see that the bulb outline now turns green and his eyeballs are red. Now, maybe you want this middle color to be, let's say his eyes are blue. So maybe he has blue eyes, he's a green bulb. That's how the colors work. But there's a little bit more customizing that we can get into that's gonna really come through and show you some, as I show you some of these interesting things. So what I wanna do is I wanna go back into the faces dialog and I wanna open this up without doing any major changes. I can use this triple box here, uh, the triple dots there and click the copy and I can give this a new name. I'm gonna call this the green bulb or just green. Now we have an exact copy. We have two selections here. They're identical until we make some changes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I am going to select the face outline. See how the face outline's all lit up, but I'm going to hold the shift key down, click and drag across here, and I'm gonna leave this alone and make this into my face outline number two and I'm gonna click and drag without the shift key, I'm gonna select these, and now the base can be its own color. If we go to something called force custom color, and I think if you've never messed with this, this is gonna become a new best friend for you, especially with your faces track. And so what you can do is we can give, we can double click on the color box here. We can go to the green, click okay on the green. Now the bulb is green. And now what about the face? Well, let's say the base has a, maybe it's silver or it's a, uh, copper color and it can force that custom color uh, onto the bulb. Now we're just gonna leave his uh, mouth as all white and I'm gonna go right to his eyeball. So now so I'm gonna put blue in there 
and then those are the eyes open and we'll go to the eyes closed we'll double click there and we'll change that to the same color light blue but one of the other things that you can do is you can edit these like I said and we can what I like to do is whenever you have the eyes open I like to get rid of these here in the center I think just the circle outline maybe you only want the little BD center eyeball uh, to be lit up you could do that as well X lights is so customizable there's no wrong way to do it so you're welcome to play with it the way you like uh, I'm going to go ahead and save that. That's our green bulb. And we'll come back here to the sequencer. We'll click on the effect. And we'll come down here to where it says face definition, bulb face. Now we have the green one. If we select him, now you can see how it turned to the copper base. And we have, see how he's got that cute little beady eye in the middle there. And, uh, and he's got the blue eyeballs and the big white mouth. We can also play around with this a little bit more. Now that we've done the hard work, it's really easy to come in here. And I swear this is a little known secret. You can come in here, you can make a copy of the green face definition and we can copy it. And we can call it, let's say, girl or the girl singing bulb. And all we have to do is change the color to pink. So now when we have Mariah Carey singing All I Want for Christmas is You, we can come over here and have the lady bulb sing and do our show with us. So uh, I thought that was an interesting addition uh, in X Lights a number of years ago. I have utilized the Force Custom Colors a lot and I've taken a lot of time in building the faces uh, to make them look really as, as lifelike as possible. So um, yeah, I love the faces. Well, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you for joining us today here on Twinkle Tips Friday. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and hit the like button. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, darn it. And uh, don't forget, we have a Tuesday webinar absolutely every single week, webinar or an open mic night. We get together in the PPD Zoom room. You can find a link to it on our PPD website down below. And you can join us each Tuesday just to hang around, maybe pick up something. If you have questions, we, we don't mind answering them. I get great ideas for videos that night. So if you have uh, some ideas for things, I, it's, it's always good. Or if you have questions, it's always good to jump in the Zoom room with the PPD pros. So guys, thank you for joining me today. Have a great weekend. We will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.